This is What's On Your Mind with Nico. So, when do Disney princesses become queens? Most of them get married or go and get or gets with the prince, but none of them become queens. We still consider them Disney princesses. Just just asking. And that was what's on your mind with Nico. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Nico here, and welcome to Nico Rambles. I'm your boy Nico, and I got my co host here, Bubba. How you doing, Bubba? Hey, buddy. I'm tired. Sounds interesting. We're going to start off with some things that I like. So, uh, let's just jump into it. So, the trailer for Infinity Wars dropped. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a DC man, um, and right now I know DC is not on the winning end, but obviously we can't compare to 20 or plus movies that Marvel has out right now. <clears throat> Look at that, almost choked up trying to say Marvel. <clears throat> the trailer looks interesting. We all know that Infinity War has Infinity Wars? Is it Infinity Wars? Am I saying it wrong? It's just Infinity War. <laughs> It didn't strike me as overwhelming when I was watching it, which is good, I guess. I want to see how they do this movie, and um, hopefully DC takes some note on when they want to add all their characters into one movie and not feel like it's just, yeah, just thrown in there. <laughs> as far as all the Marvel movies that I like, I like Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. Um, but yeah, it's going to be nice to see them cross over with these guys and see them interact with each other. It wasn't a big, f but I like how they're doing Spider-Man. I like how they're doing this. So kudos to Marvel. In other news, Toys R Us is closing. A lot of people didn't even really shop in there. It took me a long time to actually experience what Toys R Us was. Probably the first time I remember walking into Toys R Us was probably 10. Before this announcement came out, I was like, what if Toys R Us just closed now? I mean, obviously with Amazon and all these other ordering websites, it's kind of pointless unless you want to see how it looks before you buy it. You know, a lot of times they'll say that something's 12 inches or 18 inches, but you can't get a good perspective on how it is. And Toys R Us is kind of a good place for that. Anytime I walk into Toys R Us is to get uh, a little a pop or something. Like my most recent one was the hit. You know, that was a Toys R Us exclusive. And I got a couple of my super guys from there as well. But I think it's been out for like 70 years going away I mean don't get me wrong when that closing sale come around I'm gonna try to pick up any other pops that I wasn't gonna get but if they put a deal on them gonna go after them boys <laughs> hold tight don't touch that mouse or touch that screen and move to another video <laughs> and uh we'll be back after these commercial breaks Your second favorite podcast. What's up, y'all? It's your second favorite podcast with your first favorite group of people. Strawberry cake. Cheesecake. Yeah, Nick. I didn't say cheesecake. I said cake. Well, what is I, it in with? I, I mean, like, it's not in with. I would have said cheesecake. Tune in every Tuesday, 10 a.m. Eastern time, on the Just Call Me Nico YouTube channel through the JCMN Network. You better do like a, a nightclub and you oh, the way to get in is to have a book. Uh, I think I, I like, like how the music dropped. <laughs> yeah, I did that because it was so lame. <laughs> and we're back. It's crazy to me 
how we have a word, this extraordinary word that means so much, but no one, no one can reach it. And the word that I'm talking about is perfect. Yes, perfect. Why is there such a word that exists, but no one can reach that level? But practice makes perfect, but no one is perfect. Huh. The definition of perfect, having all the required or desirable elements, qualities or characteristics as good as it is possible to be. So I see what's going on here. Verb, perfect as a verb is to make completely free from faults or defects or as close to such a condition as possible. That's what's going on. We think about perfect as a verb, not as an adjective. Yet we use it as an adjective. Like the sentence here says, she strove to be the perfect wife. If to me, my wife is perfect to me, she fits the desirable elements and characteristics as good as it possibly can be. She's perfect. Am I wrong? If I get a car for years, have no problems with it. I mean like basic maintenance, whatever, but nothing big, right? And it fits, <laughs> and it fits the required or desirable elements, qualities, or characteristics as good as it possibly can be. It's a perfect car. It was perfect for me. It was the perfect fit. If I get a tailored suit, I'm tailoring it to be the perfect fit for me. You understand what I'm saying? Things can be perfect. Don't let anyone in your life, don't let anyone in your life tell you that nothing's perfect. Because guess what? You look that person straight in their eyes and say, oh yeah? But if it reach the desirable quality and characteristic that it could possibly be to me, it's perfect in your face. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.